Hey, Pete, any line of changes? Uh, no, same line of. Uh, Dodonoff, last game, he seems to have a knack for knowing when to lean towards the offensive side of the ice. Yeah. How difficult is that in the playoffs when one mistake can kill you? And then, two, how important is it to what you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, he, he fits with what we want to do. You know, I've known the player for a long time, coached him when he first came into the league in Florida. And my first job, we were we basically were rookies together. And then he went back to Russia for a while. But uh, um, he's just a, a really good pro, and he's built for the playoffs. He's, he's ex exceptionally strong on his feet, you know, low base of gravity, hangs on to pucks. And he, and he does have great timing in, in finding holes, you know, behind the defense. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. He's a big part of what we're doing here. Philosophy, too, it just seems like it helps maybe keep the gap a little bit looser for their defensemen and make them aware that at any point in time something could happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not going to get into techni technical part of what we're trying to do or things like that, but it's definitely a, uh, a piece of, of what some of our forwards have the ability to do for sure. If you're going to be aggressive, then, you know, that's always got to be in the back of your mind. Morning, Pete. Hey, Pierre. Um, bit of a gong show in some of the other series in terms of the shenanigans. Mm -hmm. This series has been very disciplined from both teams. Uh, you know, even with Jamie Ben's big hit in game two, it didn't create anything else. What's your yeah. sense of, of these two teams focused that way? Yeah. You know, I, I think our first series with Vegas was the same. I, I think, um, and again, you know, it's hockey, right? It could, <laughs> it could turn <laughs> tonight into into the, uh, a similar situation that you're seeing quickly you know so I don't want to predict anything but I think there's a real awareness here uh, you know with how close the teams closely the teams are matched how good the special teams are on on all the teams involved that are left um, that you know if you're gonna step over that line or get near that line even you know you're, you're risking uh, you know, potentially uh, the result of the game, you know, to do it. So, um, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure if it's a Western Conference thing or, you know, I, I guess the Edmonton-Vancouver series has been physical. But, you know, I, I find the East, uh, when I look at it, there's a little bit more of that than I feel there is in the West. I think, I think uh, you know, the Western Conference I don't think has as much as that. Hey, Pete, uh, you mentioned after Saturday night, you know, you made adjustments following game one. Colorado would, would look at that and make mm -hmm. their own adjustments probably tonight without getting into specifics. How much can you try to anticipate yeah. that? Yeah, you, you can try and anticipate it. Um, you know, at the same time, there's, there's, you got to be careful not to overcoach at this time of year too. You know, I think, um, you know, the players – really want to play and then they're at the point now your game is at the point at this point of the season should be at the point where they're moving seamlessly around the ice they're not overthinking situations so you know there, there's a fine line there from a coaching perspective and too much information too many adjustments um, so you know we, we've got to be careful with that too and then as far as momentum goes you said Saturday you know it was pretty close to a perfect road performance as yeah. you could have but how much can you look back to your own history of just being down 2-0 and coming back, you know, against Vegas yeah. to kind of tell your guys don't Oh, for sure, off. for sure. Well, I mean, we're not, you know, this series is a long way from over and there's a, there's a lot of heavy lifting left to be done, you know, before either team goes home. So, you know, it, it's a good step. It's nice to be up early in a series. You know, we haven't been. Uh, the Vegas series, we're obviously down 2 nothing. So, um, but uh, we know... The opponent, we know how good they are. We've got a tremendous amount of respect. You know, we know they're gonna uh, throw everything at us tonight here, like we would if we were in that situation and did against Vegas. So, you know, we, we know we know what we're up against. Hey, Pete, uh, kind of a two-parter here. Oh, uh, I just want to see how beneficial is it to bring AHL players up and just have them watch and learn just what it's like to be in playoff hockey. And then, can you think of a good example of maybe someone over your career that you're like, wow, they came in and watched and learned, and they just became yeah. A monster. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a good question. Um, you know, the, probably the, the, uh, the most experience we had with that was in the bubble because we had, you know, the extra big 
group. Everybody took extra players, and it was a pretty big group of extra players. And, you know, um, in that bubble, um, you know, I remember a young defenseman, Nick, Nick Hag, uh, you know, who was a draft pick that had, had come up, that had played in the American League. And, you know, we got a chance to be around him every day. We were in that bubble for 60-plus for days. You know, it felt like 600. Uh, but, you know, you, you got to really, because of the situation, you know, you don't. They they practice in a in a normal situation like this. Those guys practice at a different time. You don't really get to cross paths a lot and spend a lot of time with them. In that bubble situation, we did, and uh, you know, so that's probably the best example I can have of it. I, I think it's invaluable for them to be around and and to see it and and uh, to see the preparation that goes into it, to see the commitment. You know, the ice bags that are out at the end of a night uh, when a team wins or loses, you know, the resiliency of, of the group as, as a team moves through the, the playoffs. So that, that stuff's invaluable.